there are lots of chicken and pork stuff and recipes out there. I was looking through this 1997 church cookbook and I found one using hamburger. It is going to be deliciously different. Welcome back here. If you are new, I hope that you will like this recipe. And when you do, you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit notifications so that you get all of our recipes as they post. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It really helps our small channel. This recipe is called a one-dish meal. We love those one-dish meals. And since it's made with hamburger, it is affordable. And if you've been to the grocery store, and I know you have, the prices are outrageous. Not only is this affordable, it is delicious. Now, without further ado, let's put this one together. To start this recipe, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and prepare your baking dish. We're using an 8 by 8 that we have sprayed with some cooking spray. You will also need a pound of browned hamburger. Start by adding a little bit of hamburger to your dish. We're going to layer this like a lasagna, kind of. Mm -hmm. You need one box of stuffing. That will also be our next layer. Just enough stuffing to cover the hamburger. You will need two medium potatoes. You will need them sliced. And the next layer is going to be these potatoes. Now another layer of hamburger. Next, another layer of stuffing. Another layer of potatoes. See where I'm going with this? Doesn't it look delicious and easy? I'm going to add some salt and pepper, a bit more hamburger, I'm just doing this lightly guys, this is going to be our topping, and we need some moisture, we will be using one can of cream of celery, you can use cream of anything that you want to. And we have used a half a can of water and a half a can of milk. We'll just pour this over this dish. I'm just going to use my spatula and just try to get all of this soup down in this casserole this one dish meal. I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper on the top of ours. You can salt and pepper yours to your taste or you can add more spices in it if you would like. This was so easy to put together. It is going in the oven. Again, that's at 350 degrees for 50 to 60 minutes. We will be cooking ours in the Breville 10 and one it has been the best appliance that I have added to the kitchen. Um, that's the 10-in-1 Breville air fryer. So if you have, have thought about adding an air fryer to your kitchen, I do suggest looking into that Breville. We have totally enjoyed ours. This looks so delicious. I cannot wait to get this on a plate. Guys, I'm going to let this cool just a hot second, and we're going to do just that. We're going to get it on a plate. This one pot dish has cooled, and as with everything, the cook has to taste it before it goes out of the kitchen. So, I'm going in. Look at that. That smells so good. That's delicious. You've got the creaminess from the cream of celery soup. You've got the um, savory from the hamburger. You've got the potatoes. You've got the crispiness, the tech, just that little extra texture from the stuffing mix. 
guys, there's many things that I like about this dish and many reasons that you should try it in your home. Not only is it delicious, it is a one dish meal. It was easy and it was economical. I hope that you have enjoyed this recipe and I hope that you'll try this recipe in your home. Guys, give us a thumbs up subscribe and hit notifications so that you get all of our recipes as they post. And until next time, God bless and take care.